Welcome back. Well, our planter, or seeder in this case, is waiting to do its next job. And I thought, you know what, since we have the since we have the field roll already and it needs to be rolled, we might as well get it done. And no time like the present, as they say. So I'm gonna back him up a little bit. Because I do want to start him off the right way, because otherwise. Has he even dropped the thing down? You know what? It, that's what it needs, right? It needs rolling. Am I missing? I think it's because it's grass here. It will need... It will need a grass roller, won't it? So let's have a look if it needs the same as it gets off the grass. No. So it's just the grass bit that will require require me to buy, I believe. No, I don't need any of those. Where are we? Where are you? 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 Forestry. How am I missing it? Rollers? No, I need grass something. Grass kit, there we are. I think this is what I'm gonna need. See there, standard. Oh, only six meters, wow. You know what? Just buy it. And we'll see what I can do with it. But anyway, I'll do a bit of a time lapse with this, because I don't think you want me to do this... Uh, a standard recording. So, here we go.
Okay, so uh, we're planting and rolling the field at the same time, which strangely enough gives me the second stage of uh, fertilization. And this is the field that we purchased. I think it has corn on it. Yes, it does. And then we got the field up there, which has sunflower on it. And they're both. Okay, we need to fertilize that field. And that's fully, f oh, we haven't bought that one yet. So that's, uh, we need to put lime on that one. So we've got a bit of work to do. And uh, uh, not a lot of time to do it in. So I'm not going to plant any more fields. This will be the field that will be for this month. Uh, we'll uh, finish this field. We do have two fields that uh, are in a position to be uh, harvested first and then this will come next and then um, we will plant other fields. So we would have uh, fields that will just be, uh, you know, ready to be harvested towards the end of each uh, month, hopefully. Now, for whatever reason, my worker decides that he doesn't want to do these little bits at the end, so we're going to have to do it ourselves. All right, so let's see what happens. Is he going to... Yep. So what I want to do is enter in this guy, stop him for now, and then take him at the back over here and get him to get him to go the other way once because I definitely don't want to have to deal with this when he's finished completely. So at least this way we will have this taken care of at the right time. So I own this field, so if I'm gonna drive on it's not that big of a deal. Well, it is, but it isn't. Okay. Okay, I believe yep, I'm always in the wrong one. And then you press it and nothing happens. I don't know why it doesn't like this um, uh, this end bits, but it doesn't. So, because it doesn't like this end bits, I'm gonna have to do it like this, and hopefully, hopefully, he won't then decide that he's going to um, uh, simply move across. If you know what I mean, um, do the same thing a little bit up into the field so hopefully he'll decide to do this field properly after this uh, after after this particular pass i'm trying to think if i'm going to let him pass through it again but probably not it might limit no i'm not i was going to say am i limiting his speed and no, why i was not definitely don't want to get into a position where um, the roller overtakes the planter, that would, the seeder, that wouldn't be good. So I'm gonna actually uh, quite heavily considering putting a, um, a large field of cotton on. Uh, after all, we are making quite a bit of money off them. Uh, our animals, since the last episode, I've uh, fed them all, so they should all have food. Okay, silage, oh, it's a bit low on silage that the sheep are. So I'm gonna have to do, see this one's a never long, well they are long food, but they get food as they need it. Uh, and the water, we need to worry about the water. The water's a bit low. We got milk, 21,000 liters, 26,000 liters, 26,000 liters. So not a humongous amount of milk, but we do have milk. Oh, please don't stop there. He's gonna stop there. No, you're not. Come on, you can make it till the end. Don't care if you smash my... 
my greenhouses. Now, we're going to turn around. And we're going to try our absolute best to do some sort of normalization as far as keeping everything fairly level or fairly straight. At least this way we'll have two passes up to the point where I need to have two passes. And then, you know, we should be A-OK. -okay. And when we do that last run, oh, 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 oh. when we do that last run, uh, we'll be able to um, correct any mistakes that we've met, we've done there with our turning uh, radius being uh, uh, limited because of the greenhouses. Come on, don't do that. Why don't you stay straight? Okay, so there we are. Uh, now, I do believe uh, this episode is getting a bit on, so because of that, I am going to uh, complete this off-camera. I don't think you uh, uh, want me to, you know, film all the harvesting and all of that sort of stuff. It kind of gives you an idea. Uh, I have to look for some new mods that I'm going to sort of show off, if that makes sense, in... Um, on this map, I mean, after all, that was the purpose of this map, other than actually it's a fantastic map. Um, I, I was looking at a couple of um, YouTubers talk about the best American maps, and you know, I was surprised that none of them even put this in the top five. Um, now, I don't play a lot of American maps, but I have played a few, and funny, a few of the ones that were in the top two, three, four, whatever, uh, I don't think they were near, anywhere near as good as this one. Uh, I think, uh, you know, it's not over the top detailed, but it's enough detail. It doesn't have a humongous amount of sell points, but it does have plain, well, enough. Uh, but what it lacks in all those things, in more they mix up in the design, like if you if you were looking at um, playing Farm Simulator with uh, cows, for example, this is a perfect map. The fact that it has uh, large uh, fields, not a humongous amount of large fields, but it has... Um, it has what 16 fields and you know one two three four three fields uh, are quite large and then you got a medium size and the fact that I put these two together 10 and 9 and I'm gonna put uh, five six seven eight together as well and I'm gonna move my grass onto four so you know it has a little bit of everything and it gives you an opportunity to use to properly use uh, the realistic large equipment and the unrealistic large equipment um, and, you know, let's face it, the, the way this uh, TMR is set up for the cows is fabulous. Um, you know, you just fill it up all the time, set it to distributing, and boom, it's done. So, yeah, I, I was surprised that, um, you know, it didn't really make it onto people's top five or even top ten list. Uh, that really surprised me. And some of the maps that they were saying, you know, is number one and number two and so on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, they've got a lot of details. They've got your McDonald's and your Kentucky's and all that sort of rubbish, but, you know, it's nothing to do with farming. It's just detailing on the map. Well, this one doesn't have all that fancy stuff, but it has uh, ease of playability, if that makes sense, uh, which, uh, to me, makes makes a lot of sense. Like, I've played American maps, and most of them, uh, I don't think I've played, even recording them. I think I, I struggle to do 10 episodes on them, to be really honest. Uh, because they were so either either super large in the sense that it's impossible to play as a single player or they were so uh, rough in so many ways uh, that you really couldn't play them. Well, I think this map kind of wins in all those departments. Anyway, I'm going on a rant about a map and I don't think that's what you want to see. So thank you very much for your support. Thank you very much for spending some time uh, watching my videos if you have any comments feel free to write them down you know i'll be very keen to see what you think of uh, my let's plays and uh, any suggestions they have so have a wonderful day wherever you are god bless you and we'll see you in the next
next episode. Bye-bye.